another garage day here. Over the course of time, I had developed a little bit of a, a radiator leak. And since this thing is a 406, um, I like to run a little bit hot. I want to make sure that uh, I got that covered and, and taken care of. So I reached out to uh, Champion Cooling System down in Southern California and said, hey, I got a 72 Corvette. It's a four-speed car. I need a, a radiator for it. And they said they're working on a prototype, but they didn't have one yet. So uh, we hemmed and hawed a little bit. And um, basically what uh, my friends down at Champion Cooling said, hey, we got a car show coming up. Um, if we send you the prototype we have, you want to put that in your car, come down to the car show. And I said, you send it, I'll install it. I'll do a quick video on the installation, any issues I've, I had uh, with the installation, if any and uh, I'll see you down at the car show. So uh, this is a quick video uh, installation of that radiator and um, 1972 Corvette, four speed car, pretty rare radiator, I guess it's hard to find. So we're gonna walk through the installation on it and uh, see how things go. Uh, so this is the new radiator. I cracked the inlet going into the old radiator. So this is a, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. This one, the welds on these things are really, really solid. Um, the necks, inlet, and outlet um, aren't pinched in the sense that they don't have any flow restrictions like the, uh, the original radiator. And look at that, it's beautiful. Look at those welds. It's just like that everywhere. So uh, it's, it's got the uh, line pins on the bottom. Um, just really, really good, good welds everywhere. So uh, I'm about ready to uh, put this thing back in. Got the old one out, got it cleaned up a little bit, the uh, engine compartment. So. Let me get this thing put back in and uh, we'll go from there. All right, second set of hands might be nice here, but uh, I don't have any right now. So uh, there's a couple guide pins down on the bottom and uh, the, the radiator does have the, uh, the, the matching pins on the bottom. So it's set right in. I didn't have any issues with that. And then this Corvette's got this U-shaped uh, upper clamp here to hold that down. So uh, that lined up really nice. Get that snugged up, hold it in place. So the Corvette's got some foam around the edges here. And mine's a little bit on the rigid side, so it's basically got uh, the foam, the gasket seal, or whatever you want to call it, radio seal. Kind of, kind of tight there. And look at that. Dropped right in, no issues whatsoever. This thing lined up perfectly with this U-shaped uh, top bracket right there so it should be holding it in place really nice these particular bolts are for the uh, fan shroud so uh, I don't anticipate any issues with that I'll get that uh, get the hoses hooked up and uh, work on the uh, the fan shroud and I'll check back in a second all right lower radiator hose um, is on but it was super easy it lined up perfectly with the uh, stock radiator hose and as you can see there's plenty of room down there um, to get to that um, uh, hose clamp and put the fitting on there and make it look real nice. So I'm going to put the fan shroud on and the fan and then I'll work on the top hose. But so far everything's just going together super easy. It's just laying into place. All right, that was actually pretty easy. This trash can style fan shroud is, is kind of a, a beast, but um, I just was able to just twist it in, rotate it in and, and drop it in. It was perfectly easy. But keep in mind, like I said, I just did the power steering pump. So I still have my alternator off. And of course the fan is off. So I don't know if the alternator would have been in the way or not, just a heads up for you. But this thing just, uh, it just, you know, put it in on the narrow side, rotated it right around and it, slide, it slid right in, dropped right where it's supposed to be. So I did already uh, tighten up the bottom uh, brackets. So I'm just gonna 
give these a little twist up here and then I'll uh, work on getting on the fan. Okay, fans back on, shrouds all locked down, everything's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hose on um, and then I'll cut while I put the alternator on you. You need to watch that, that's pretty simple. Uh, fill it, check for leaks, and then take it out for a hot lap. There we go. Uh, it dropped right in. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Um, some parts of my foam is pretty old, so it's dry. Uh, I would recommend, I guess, if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna do a radiator, you might as well update your foam while you're there, if you still even have it. It's it's four speed only, uh, sixty three to seventy two, four speed small block Chevy, Champion Coin System.